So I actually decided to do this series last Ramadan. And the reason being is that in Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah and the angels send their praise upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Two years ago, alhamdulillah, we did Allah loves. And then last year we did angels. And this year we do the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And what that means is that you want to bring the Prophet sallallahu into your home and you want to basically start feeling like the Prophet sallallahu is with you in every context that you are in. So the way that this is structured is that it makes you long for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and take practical advice on how to be like him in every social context, in every family context, in every individual context, so that you can really start to feel that connection at a deeper level bi ta'ala. And that's really you know, something that's important. When you talk about Allah, how do you long for Allah? You bring in the traits that are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you talk about the angels, how do you start to interact with the angels in every part of your life? You start to think about the way that you bring them into your life. And with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you literally try to bring in his character Alaihi Salatu Wasallam into your own in every single context that you're in. So how does this series unfold? It basically starts with two episodes that describe him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his physical description, and then his demeanor Alaihi Salatu Wasallam. And then from episode three onwards, it's a story of you basically becoming a Sahabi. So you're starting to witness the Prophet Sallallahu from afar. You are in Medina, you are seeing the Prophet Sallallahu give khutbah al Jum'ah. And then you are seeing the Prophet Sallallahu in celebrations. You're praying behind him. You're seeing him in battles. You're seeing him in the trenches, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You are starting to develop a relationship with the Prophet Sallallahu where you're with him in smaller gatherings. And then you invite him to your home Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and you develop a relationship with him Alaihi Salatu Wasallam. So that's how the series is structured that you're meeting Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and you're basically becoming a Sahabi, a close companion to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then we go into some of his virtues, some of his characteristics. And then the last episodes, the last batch of episodes, focus on the element of worship. So we start talking about the Prophet Sallallahu interaction with revelation, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam walking the streets at night, some of the conversations you would have with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at night, some of the prayers of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at night. And finally, of course, we talk about the departure of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and what it would have meant to lose him in that society. And no matter how many times you talk about the death of the Prophet Sallallahu or how many angles you address it from, each time is special. And so this time it is after having developed that relationship with him Alayhi Salatu Wasalam, you are really you know, putting yourself in the shoes of someone sitting in the masjid of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi at the time of his departure and finally longing for him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because at the end of the day, talking about him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, studying his characteristics, all of this is only as good as our ability and our willingness first and foremost to implement those characteristics into our own lives and then to long for that meeting with him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the next.